What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I'm bringing you guys our episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Gun Guide. The series will go through all the weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts, giving you guys the stats and info, as well as some of my personal opinions to help you make better class setups and become a better Call of Duty player. So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Maverick A2 Assault Rifle. It's one of the new weapons that came out with the Onslaught DLC, so let's get into it. Now, uh, starting off with the Iron Sights, they're great. <laughs> like, seriously, they're some of the best in the game. They're super, super open. There's no, like, ring around them or anything like that. They're usually really easy to control. Optics aren't a bad choice on this weapon, but I think usually other attachments will help you out more. Now, uh, next up in terms of damage, this is where this weapon is different. It does 50 up close and then 24 to distance, which makes it a pretty high damage assault rifle. The 24 is more kind of average, if not below average, but, but the 50 up close is crazy. The only other weapon that does that is the MSBS, so sometimes when you're up close, within 7 meters, you can get yourself a two-shot kill, and this is about the two-shot kill range distance right here, so it's not very far, but sometimes you'll get lucky. You've seen it a couple of times in this gameplay already. But uh, anyway, uh, next up for shots to kill, obviously with 50 to 24, it's 2 to 5 shots to kill. So, so the range isn't bad. You know, the 2 shot kill, like I said, is up to 7 meters, which is really, really close. The 3 shot kill goes out to 37 meters, which is, uh, which is pretty good. And then from there, it drops down to a 4 to 5 shot kill. Uh, the rate of fire is pretty slow at 652 RPM. That's pretty similar to the, uh, the Remington R5, which has a 631. So uh, this is kind of like a higher damage, slower rate of fire weapon so you really have to be accurate and make sure your, your shots are on target uh, as for the recoil it's uh i'm gonna say like medium maybe medium to high now probably more medium uh, you know, technically the recoil is high, but it's also got an abnormally large recenter speed, which is the time it takes for the, your weapon to come back down to the middle of your screen. So it feels like the recoil is higher than it is, but usually it's pretty manageable. It's not the best in the game, but it is manageable. Now, uh, next up for magazine size, you've got 30 rounds in your regular mag, 45 in extended mags. Reload speed is 3.25 if your magazine is completely empty, whereas it's 2.5 if you have at least one bullet left, which is uh, it's pretty good. It's slightly above average for assault rifles. And, and then as for recommended attachments I really like the muzzle break you know it increases range increase that two hit kill and three hit kill range that's pretty good a uh, foregrip is good because sometimes recoil can start to get away from you so that helps out with that uh, silencer isn't bad it's a pretty high damage weapon so it's kind of like the AK-12 whereas you know silencers won't affect it quite as much uh, optics like I said if you want them but they aren't necessary you know at all so so try to get used to the iron sights if you can and then finally as for recommended perks we've got ready up slide of hand stalker quick draw and focus that's just kind of like my go-to assault rifle perk setup but anyway there you guys have it that is the Maverick A2 assault rifle it's actually pretty good like it, it's not the best weapon in the game by any means this is not something where if you buy the DLC you're gonna have a big advantage over everybody else but it is good and, and it, it's something kind of new and fun so if you guys haven't gotten the DLC yet or if you're on PlayStation or anything else I would recommend eventually checking this weapon out because it is uh, it's a lot of fun to use it's, it's a new weapon that's kind of a, a specialty weapon with that two-hit kill up close but anyway thank you guys so much for watching we'll catch you guys later a bunch of great videos coming soon check out one of the other two videos you see me yet Peace out, guys.